Incoming calls. Order breakfast at 8.30. Honeydew with lemon, two boiled eggs, toast, and tea with lemon. Mm-hmm. His breakfast served in room by J5, posing as waiter. At 9.30, Becca calls for Bellboy to take his suit out to be pressed. He refused to have it done here in the hotel by our valet service. Insisted that it be taken out? Yes, sir. Oh, where's the suit? Uh, J9 is holding it in the check room for you. Stay on the switchboard. If anything gets through, I'll be in the check room. Uh, it's right through that door. Thank you. Yes, sir? Do you want to check something? Uh, no, uh, I'm looking for a Mr. Harding. Oh. J9, Chicago. Identification. My card. All right. I'm glad you've come, sir. I've been holding this suit half an hour. Yeah. Blue Surge. Where did Becker tell you to take it? To the clean light tailor shop, sir. Steamed and pressed? Yes, sir. That's very interesting. A little strange he happened to know the name of a tailor shop in a strange city. Well, he made certain I knew where the clean light was, sir. Very well, then. Take the suit over there at once. Wait for it and then bring it back here to me. Yes, sir. And on your way back, stop at the valet service here in the hotel and bring me a hot iron. Hello? J-8 reporting, Mr. Harding. Room 501 just called. He's very annoyed. He wants to know where the boy is with his suit. What'd you tell him? I told him I'd try to locate the boy and call him right back. Mm. Oh, here he is now. Tell 501 his suit will be up in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Well, here's a suit in the hot iron, Mr. Harding. All right. Now, hold the coat open. I'll try the lining first. The lining, sir? Yes. When Becker ordered his breakfast this morning, he ordered honeydew with lemon and tea with lemon. Hmm. Lemon juice is an excellent substitute for invisible ink. Well, I believe Becker wrote a message on this suit for the presser, but I'm more interested to find out if the presser sent a return message. Uh-huh. The heat from this hot iron should bring out any invisible writing. Hey, Mr. Harding. There. Some letters forming under the inside pocket. Yeah. I can almost read it. X4... Located at 211. Mm. S-U-N-C-A-N-Y-O-N. Mm. 211 Sun Canyon. Well, that's the answer Becker's waiting for. Just the answer I want. All right, take the suit up to him. Oh, uh, what about the message? Well, by the time you get to room 501, the writing will disappear again. To read it, Becker will have to do just what we've done. Mm -hmm. You'll never know we intercepted his message and picked up the enemy agent at the clean right service. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Harding? Arrange to be relieved at the switchboard immediately. Yes, sir. Now put me right through to Peters, Los Angeles Field Headquarters. Yes, sir. Los Angeles Field Office, Peters. Harding. Yes, sir. Go over to the Los Angeles Electric Company and have them disconnect the lights at 211 Sun Canyon. Right, sir. I'm sending J-8 over to the Electric Company's service department. Have her act as chief operator. When she gets a call from 211 Sun Canyon that their lights are out of order, we'll be the ones to answer the call. Yes, sir. This looks like action. Yes? What is the address, please? 211, Sun Canyon. We'll check the line and send a repairman immediately. Let's see now. 211 must be that last house at the end of the canyon. Yeah. A lawn looking place. You men, stay back there in the body of the truck till Peters gives you the signal. Right. Now, Peters, just before we left the electric company, I received word that Becker was leaving the hotel. We're here about five minutes ahead of him. When Becker gets here and goes in the house, give me about two minutes. 
and then close in. You have to win alone, Chief? Well, if they have Harwood inside, they'll have to kill him if they heard any sudden commotion of men. Here we are. 211. Remember, give me exactly two minutes from the time Becker enters the house. 